here we have my new used Polyot dress watch. This is an eBay buy and um, essentially another impulse buy. Um, I just like the look of the the Roman numerals and the very plain sort of um, not austere but certainly um, I don't know what the word you use is, I think it's just a very, uh, not plain, but simple dial. It has a uh, back, it is a manual wind 17 jewel mechanical watch, and it has um, a date as well. Here is a view of the watch without the back, and you can see um, the movement is marked 17 jewels um, in English, whereas the face is marked um, Polyot, made in USSR in, in Russian. Maybe this isn't the original movement, there's no way of knowing at this point. You can see the uh, three jewels for the uh, main wheel, a couple of other wheels, and a jewel for the balance wheel, you can see the balance going back and forth, we'll measure the amplitude of that in a minute and you can see the regulator is really clear, it would be the regulator but I'll leave that alone. Pretty clean, uh, can't see any uh, any rust, maybe a few bits of um, maybe the odd uh, bit of dirt on there but nothing too serious, in pretty good condition overall. Time to put the new watch on the time grapher. I believe the uh, lift angle is 52 degrees. It's got quite a, a nice load tick, so shouldn't need to increase the sensitivity. So let's go. Okay, so it's got the beat rate 21600 uh, beats per hour, and now it's calculating the uh, beat error, which is pretty high, 4.5, and you can see that it's um, going pretty fast. Although the the time graph isn't too uh, scattery it is a little bit and uh, yeah it's 30 seconds fast um, it isn't calculated the amplitude but it's it's pretty high uh, 200 and something but and all in all needs a service so a quick summary of the watch it isn't in perfect condition there's a small mark on the face but this is an acrylic face so it's possible to polish that out this whole performance is okay. Um, it looks like it was last serviced in 2008, according to the marking on the case back, on the inside of the case back. So I think it's definitely worth uh, another service. I think it's definitely due. Um, looking at the uh, the uh, beat error in particular, and the fact that it's nearly 30 seconds fast. But um, all in all, a very neat watch. This has a, uh, a second um, aftermarket leather strap. Obviously, this isn't the original strap. Obviously. And unfortunately, uh, although it is a good match for the colour, um, the cream colour dial, the brown leather, but for some reason it has a gold clasp, gold coloured clasp, so it isn't really uh, matching, although you hardly ever see the watch and the clasp at the same time. So, eventually I'll get a new strap, but uh, in the meantime I'll get it serviced properly, and uh, it will look very nice um, for uh, formal occasions, uh, wearing a suit better than the... Uh, Seiko uh, 5 I have, or the Seiko Titanium uh, Quartz watch, which I've had for years.